Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the Forex Weekend Review on the 7th of May at 4 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to start off with the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. And what we have here basically is no trade. We have a green candle, a red candle, Haikanashi. No trade the entire week. Aussie dollar, Swiss franc, very choppy, very wicky. As we get into the trades here, this was initial buy trade and was stopped out. No further trade the rest of the week. Now on these Haramis here, couldn't tell whether or not it was red or green at this point, so I just stayed out of it with this wick kind of action have. Aussie dollar Japanese yen have uh, two trades, one here for a quick loss and a one-two out here at the arm. Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar had initial trade here with a loss, another trade here with a loss. Initial trade here with a win at the 200 moving day average. No further trade the rest of the week. Aussie dollar US dollar had initial trade here with low risk entry, came out with another win here, even though it closed above the RL10 stopped us out here at the high. Then we had a 1-2 out here at the end of the week. Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Initial trade on Sunday out at the low. Canadian dollar Japanese yen. No trade. Interesting how the high can actually, can actually keep us out of week longs. This is just kind of following the RL90. Swiss franc Japanese yen. Initial trade here. Another trade with small loss here. No further trade the rest of the week. Your Aussie dollar. Very wicky. Reverse wedge. Uh, loss here on Sunday, loss here on Monday. No further trade the rest of the week. Very wicky. Reverse wedge. This will definitely take profit. Euro Canadian dollar. No trade. Uh, reverse or a week short. Euro British pound. Beautiful. One, two, three punch out and a one, two. Out here at the RL270. Nice one, two to end of the week. Euro Japanese yen. Nice. One, two, three. No further trade the rest of the week. Here on New Zealand, reverse wedge again. Here on Sunday, one order out, two order out, and a reverse wedge here in the other direction on the short. Euro US dollar, beautiful trade. No trade, no trade. Initial trade, the scratch, and then a one, two to hit the RL270. Fantastic trade. The US dollar pairs were surging on Friday. Bruce pound, Aussie dollar. Nice. One, two out, one, two out. Then nice one, two out here. Here, the RL270. Three good trades. British pound Canadian dollar. One, two out. No further trade the rest of the week. British pound says Frank. Beautiful. One, two, three here at the RL270. Punch out. Then a one, two out. Week short. No trade. British pound New Zealand dollar. And believe it or not, one, two, three punch out. Here with the initial high action body above the RL10. With the 200, I thought it was to be a good support area. So I had one, two, three punch out. Reverse direction. One, two, three punch out. Spur trade. First pound US dollar. No trade, trade, initial trade out for a loss, another trade for a one two out for initial for our overall gain for the week. Zealand Canadian dollar, so order here for a loss. Zealand Swiss franc, add initial order here out for a loss, initial order here out for a loss, two losses on Zealand Swiss franc, no further trade the rest of the week. Zealand Japanese yen, initial trade here, there are 270 for a win, and beautiful one two three punch out. Zealand US dollar, initial trade here for a loss here, then a one two three punch out. US Canadian dollar. Nice one two out. Did not take this trade. I was within the spread for the long. US dollar Swiss franc. Initial trade here for a loss. Hits the low. Another trade here for a loss. Hits the low. Then a one two out at the RL270. Initial US Japanese yen. Had initial trade here on Sunday. Out at the low. Then a one two punch out at the end of the week. Silver seems to be moving up as well as gold. Now they're at the Z3 and the 200 moving day average. We'll see what happens after this. This definitely looks like an emerging dragon with more further potential to the upside for both of them. This is definitely an emerging dragon. As you can see here, summer, fall, and summer. Definitely emerging dragons for both of them. Higher gold and silver means potential for higher inflation. Well folks, that's all I have for the Forex Week in Review. We're currently conducting a Forex boot camp and a Forex Intermediate course. If you're interested, click on the link below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend everyone. Don't forget, happy Mother's Day on Sunday and I'll see you on Sunday night. Take well if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button and if you want more information on TC2000 I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.